Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Sweeney, and it's time for us to get the evening started. It's yet another beautiful, sunny summer day in the Big Apple, and the U.S. soccer team now has a lot of time to enjoy some fun in the sun. Meanwhile, me, it's time for me to get out of here and have a drink. It's nearly 4 o'clock. The market's there about to close. You know what time it is. It's happy hour in the Big Apple. <music> Now stocks, they're mostly lower this Wednesday afternoon as the British pound continues to come off highs against the dollar, this ahead of the very important, highly, highly watched UK vote on whether to leave the European Union. But before we go across the pond, we first take a look at domestic data. U.S. existing home sales rising 1.8% in May to an annual rate of 5.53 million units. That's the highest since February 2007. Also, the FHFA housing price index rising 0.2% on a seasonally adjusted basis. Now, turning overseas, the EU referendum scheduled for Thursday, and the results are not expected until after the U.S. market close that day. And yet another poll released today from TNS indicating support for leave holding over Remain. Meanwhile, oil coming off highs to briefly trade more than 2.5% lower to settle down 72%, 72 cents or 1.44% at 49.13 a barrel. Also, the U.S. dollar pairing losses to trade about 0.2% lower. And with all of that, we now take a look to see how the markets are shaping up to close out this Wednesday afternoon over on the big board. And on the corporate front, shares of McDonald's trading more than 1.5% lower after Nomura downgraded the stock to neutral from buy on expectations of weaker sales. And with that, kick back, relax, grab yourself a drink. Congratulations to Lionel Messi in Argentina for a domination of the U.S. men's soccer team. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the summer, guys, because you know have, have a lot of days to not do anything at all. For Modern Wall Street, I'm James Swinney.